This lesson is brought to you by thegenie.com. Enroll now through our free math prep course. Hundreds of free dynamic and interactive lessons. The Genie is the latest in multimedia technology to get you on top of your learning for free. Visit us today at thegenie.com. Next step is to compute the height. The point to line distance needs the line equation of the base. So let's go through the steps together. We need to get the slope and y intercept to have the functional form y equals ax plus b. Can you compute the slope given the two points a and c? Right. The slope is minus 0.6. Now we have to get the y intercept. The trick is to replace x and y in the equation we have so far with the coordinates of one of the points of the line. Let us take point A. Can you try to compute the y intercept? No. Let's go through the steps together. We can write the line equation as y equals ax plus b. We replace a by minus 0.6. We also replace x and y with the coordinates of point a. x is equal to minus 2, while y is equal to 2. We get 2 equals minus 0.6 times minus 2 plus b. We evaluate the product to get 1.2. We subtract 1.2 from both sides to isolate b. We get b is equal to 0.8. So the equation of line AC is y equals minus 0.6 times x plus 0.8. The last step is to convert this equation to the general form, which is ax plus by plus c is equal to zero. The reason is that the point to line distance equation is based on the general form. What is the general form of this line? Wrong. Let's do it together. We subtract y from both sides to get the right hand equal to zero. We then multiply by minus one to make sure that the coefficient of x, which is 0.6, is positive. The general form for line AC is 0.6x plus y minus 0.8 is equal to zero.